So I will fill the gaps of this mini today. Uh, the one around uh, the neckline, or where the neck meets the, the body. This one in the hand, or the wrist. And this other one in the uh, left elbow. Um, so I'm gonna use green stuff. That's this yellow and blue strip here. And also Plastic Buddy from Vallejo. Also sculpting tools, you can buy those at Michael's, Amazon. Uh, old round brush. And these are called clay shapers. So let's start with the green stuff. I will cut a small strip out of it. I'm dipping the blade in, in water. It makes it easier to, to cut through because it's pretty sticky. And you can use Vaseline. I don't, don't like it, it's oily and greasy. So now I'm going to knit it together and it'll turn into the actual green stuff. So some people usually cut the, the midsection where the blue and the yellow meets because it's already activated. Uh, I, I don't mind so much, especially for these minis. So now I have a little ball of green stuff there and I will cut or take a small piece out of it and roll into a tiny snake. Again, I'm I'm wetting my fingers, so it's it's not sticking. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I don't like to use Vaseline, because it by by now it'll be all greasy. Um, so with the sculpting tool now, I'm gonna cut a little bit out of the the that snake. And apologies, I'm off camera here for a few seconds, but I'm just sort of positioning it. Um, and with the clay shaper and the tip is slightly wet, I will just gently put into place or position it correctly on top of the gap itself. Uh, right, it's kind of it's the the hardest part, quote unquote, because you can get stuck into the to the tool and just come out of it. So be gentle. Uh, and now I'm just pushing it down the down the gap, and that's basically securing it into place and at this point it's like it's pretty secure so it won't come out so I'm gonna just push it a little bit more just to make sure it's it's deep within the, the gap and now I'm gonna start like um, basically smoothing it out so <clears throat> you can think of it as like sort of a blending the the green stuff with the surface you don't want to leave any you don't want to leave any any gaps in in uh, between the green stuff and the, the figure otherwise when you paint it's going to look like a mold line and it'll be incredibly ugly and also noticeable so just continue to push it uh, and spread it as, as, as much as you can by now it, it's absolutely secure there is no way it's going to come out so you can push it as hard as you can and that's one of the reasons why the, the, the clay shaper is absolutely uh, a requirement for this because otherwise you can properly use I mean, you can, but it's much harder. So the tool is kind of designed for that. You could use the sculpting tools for this. I, I just think it's easier with the clay shaper. So now let's move on for to fill the gaps of the arm using a plastic body and the, uh, the brush. So plus body is, is uh, water soluble, so it's pretty easy to work with. It takes a long while to dry, so take your time. So I'm just going to spread it over the, the gap that I want to fill. And I'm not worrying so much about, uh, you know, the edges or, or making it look nice. We're going to do it now. We're going to fix it all now. So wiping the brush, dumping it a little bit and start like, you know, again, can think of it as sort of a blending it with the, the sculpt. Uh, took the most out of it with my finger uh, and now I'm just uh, basically smoothing it out, making sure it's there's no no hard edges or no gaps or no nothing that will resemble a mold line. One thing to keep in mind about Plus Buddy is that it will shrink after it is dry, um, a little bit at least. So sometimes if you're concerned about like having a, a more uh, well done finish, you might have to do it twice. For 
For me, once is enough. I mean, it's much better than leaving the gap. And if it's slightly, uh, if it shrinks a little bit after it dries, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, basically repeating the process now, we'll, we'll clean up the edges, make sure there are no, 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 uh, no nothing that will sort of um, uh, screw up the, or, or get paint stuck after it's dry. And that's about it. So. It's pretty simple, very fast. Uh, I think it gives you great results and uh, it's just a few minutes at most per figure. So even in this case, I have to do it like seven times. It's like no longer than like 20, 30 minutes. And I think it's just worse because I just hate gaps. So <laughs> anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.